Well, going even further, like the Superman reboot that I'm actually excited for. Are you excited though? Yeah. I mean, I'm confused. Is it a part of the reboot? Number one, I don't know that's question one. I don't know any of that. Number two, do we get black Superman? Do you think oh my this God, is that it? would be amazing? I don't know. I, I do think. Writer? What's his name? It says Ta-Nehisi it won't Coates. feature What's Clark Kent. Ta-Nehisi Coates. Are you pronouncing that correctly? I don't know for certain because I've actually never like heard anyone pronounce it. Uh-huh. I but do I've know read, his face though. I've read um, a, like, uh, fuck. I read the Black Panther comics that he did. Oh, he's oh, okay. He's yeah. He has like, so he's in the game. Yeah. This isn't his first, like this is his first movie thing, okay. but he, you know, he's like, a, he's a, did fuck. he write black Panther? Not no. originally. No, he wrote some of the more, the trip, the movie. I don't know. He might've been involved. Okay. I'm not positive on that. I know he wrote the, he wrote some of the more recent comics mm-hmm. and they have like a good amount of acclaim. He wrote like he he's written a ton of shit. A lot of it's way more philosophical and way more political oriented about race relations in the United States. Mm-hmm. I have read two of them and they're on my phone, but I don't want to check my phone and admit that I don't remember the titles off the top of my head. But that's all Black Panther. No, no, no. Um, uh, just his books about race relations. In oh, the United my States. bad, my like, bad, my bad. So, so I don't we- know if we get a Black Superman. I don't want to get into the, like, like there's they, a good, there's it, a good chance. I would fucking love it. If Michael B. Jordan was Superman, that'd saying. be the coolest shit in the world. And right. then there's going to be a bunch of people online who are like, you can't make Superman black. And I'm like, he's a fucking alien in well, his origin story. I just, now that I'm, I'm reading this headline, I don't know if it's true or not, but it said it's, if it doesn't feature Clark Kent, then sure. Get away. You can get away with it. I don't mind it. it it's I a know fictional it character. I get like, it. I understand, but I'm also like, I understand. Like, I don't necessarily care. I'm confused why Clark Kent can't be black. Because he landed in fucking, what, Kansas, Kentucky? No, what he fucking- can't. Like, I don't, like, I guess we we can, like, debate all that. I just think, like, okay, so for Batman, they, they, they made a black Batman in the comics. So now, like, there's a story for that guy. And I'm sure race relations are involved in those comics. If you do it for... Superman, I feel like it would just be, unless it's written as a comic first. I know it's a stupid rule, and maybe they don't have to. I just, I, 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 I don't know how to like. Okay, I understand the argument to like, what if well, we can't make Black Panther white, right? Because, uh, and I, but he's that makes sense. He's to not the an story. alien, also, right? But that's what I'm saying to the story because if. But what changes in the Superman story if if you what changes in the Superman story if you um, if he's black yeah like on and also Maybe let's take into account once again in the origin story he's a fucking alien okay the I'm other there. alien in the DC universe John Johns the Mar- the Martian mm-hmm. Manhunter is a fucking green dude why do it wouldn't matter what color they made him mm-hmm. he's also a fucking alien so it doesn't matter I think for I Superman, think in those senses. I think- I, I agree with you. I think for Superman, you can kind of get away with it. Yeah. But I, get, I think I'm more just so thinking like, like if they did it for Batman and they made, they were like, yo, um, Bruce Wayne's going to be black. It would be kind of tough to do. Not tough to do. It would just be kind of. Yeah, there's, there is a, you know Not a I mean? whole lot of black billionaires, unfortunately. That's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And statistically, I, I don't mean to say like there can't be black billionaires, but in fictional just, universes, like <laughs> even included. Yeah, I just think it would just be like, wait, what? Like, I don't know. Like, you can do it. I just think the whole like why certain comics and stories are so cool is because they're somewhat realistic. Obviously, you want to. Yeah, Superman is super realistic, bro. I'm gonna. I'm leaving this whole. This is the last episode <laughs> of the whole for everything podcast. But no, but that's what I'm saying. So Superman, you kind of get away with it because it's an alien. You could just, you could make yeah, him whatever I think, you want. Th- I do think, yeah, when you're right, when story elements are part of it, like with, like we said with Black Panther, you wouldn't be able to do that specifically because it is part of the story. It's a part of the culture. It is and a, like, it, it's very involved and it's very like personable. Right. But like you look at- Superman, there really is no culture. Yeah, Superman is supposed in- to be uh, an aspirational like hero. Unlike the other, like really where- place I think a lot of uh, 
especially in movies, they fuck them up Mm -hmm. is where they try to make them way more conflicted or they underpower them because they're just like, Oh, it's boring. Uh It's a boring superhero who has too many powers and is too strong. It's like, but that's the, you get to have the more introspective superhero because you get to talk about like the things that do bother him that he can't even with all these powers, he can't save everyone. Uh He's supposed to be like this moral, this aspirational moral story more so than any other like hero, especially in the DC universe. But now do they, so and let's I don't say, think that's race dependent, but if they're pro- 90% chance they make him black, there's a good chance. I mean, do they, do they force a racial story? Not force. Do they make, do they make a story that's racially motivated that mm-hmm. involves this Superman or do they just pretend like you don't, I, I don't see color, you know, like, well, I don't think you have to choose one or the other. I don't think Will you'd have to force things? a story. The thing is, is that like, I do th- like, I think the Superman stories ha- are all like the good ones are the bigger things. They're not like the street level kind you. of superheroes where it's like daredevil and shit, where it's like, we're really talking about focal points on like cities and sh- yeah, yeah it's you. really like i don't think you ha- you could and i'm certain that it's like you could do that i don't know if it'd be it good is- because the hero is too overpowered for yeah. the for stories where like the villain is something like related to that i mean they can kind of go like because i've been watching the boys yeah they can kind of go that route where they kind of hint at it like even though this dude is fast as fuck yeah he's being judged by uh, what's her name? Storm, storm, something, storm fighter, storm rider. Well, like, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Still, I do think, I don't think it, it's relevant for Superman, the race of I'm, the character. I'm interested to see how they, if they, if they, do I just do think that Coates is a talented enough writer to do, to make, yeah. to make it, into, it makes it exciting that he's attached to it yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. because I know how talented of a writer he is, right? regardless of any of the, the political things that could be yeah. involved with it just the fact that he's doing it and he has experience writing comics and he has all this, like he's just a talented writer. It's nice to be like, Oh, that's a guy that I trust with stuff. And maybe he fucks it up. Mm -hmm. But right now it's like more so than Zack Snyder. I'm excited to see what he does with Superman (laughs) or that fucker, whoever did it before him too. that shit. Like the early two thousands, that Superman movie. Do you remember that? Where Which Superman one? like disappeared for forever and he came back and he had a fucking oh, child. What was that Superman five? Was that when he was like drunk and shit? Don't no, no, no. Cause he left like all of earth for a minute. The whole, it's like Superman returns. That's three, I, right? I don't know. Are you it, talking about this is in the two thousands. Oh no. Nah. I went and saw this in the theaters and it was oh, this new. Is with Brandon, Brandon, uh, that's the guy. I think I know you're talking about the guy who plays, he's, he's playing Superman again on like flash. Like they've been doing like this weird, like crossover thing. Anyway, my maybe bad. I don't, I, I only remember it vaguely because it's not a great movie and uh, <laughs> it was boring. It was, it was just boring in theaters, but anyway, 